What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be talking about this drone right here, the iFlight Nazgul Evoke F6. This is a 6 inch drone that, I have to admit, this is not a new product. It's been out for maybe a year and a half or maybe even two years, but it has been gradually updated with some new parts inside, some new internals. And also, it's a 6 inch drone. They are not the most popular drones out there, mainly because people are mostly focused on 5 inch drones for freestyle, 7 inch drones for long range, and this is kind of in the middle. So it doesn't get, get that much attention. However, I do feel like this is going to be one of my most used drones, and I will tell you why in this video, because uh, I have noticed that my needs have changed in terms of how I fly FPV, what I do with those drones, and recently I've been flying a lot more long range, or at least I would say medium range, because I don't go like five kilometers away with my drone, but I, I do feel the need to have something more stable in the air where we have a lot of wind, when we have a lot of turbulence and um, doesn't get too much uh, pushed around by, by the wind because um, with the seven inch drone, you do get that and uh, it's kind of annoying. So that's why I went and bought uh, the big boy, the Helion. And that's one of the drones that I use the most recently. And I've been using it a lot for the past couple of months and I absolutely love it. However, the biggest thing about this drone is its size. It's too big sometimes to, to carry with you and to take with you on your trips. So because of that, I kind of got the need to, to have a smaller version of this. So you might want to ask when, well, why didn't you get the seven inch then, the Chimera 7, which I used to have, but I don't anymore because I don't like those calm and super relaxing flights with a drone. I prefer to have a little bit more speed. I prefer to have a little bit more dynamic in my, my shots. And the Chimera was just a little bit too slow uh, for me, at least. And I think this Evoke 6 inch is the best middle ground between still having the chance to fly acro and do a lot of stuff uh, in the air that requires some flips and rolls, but at the same time having that rigidity and uh, calmness in the drone, um, which will allow you to go a little bit further and not really like long range, but medium range, like I said in the beginning of this video, I prefer to have something like this. So on a day like today where we don't have that much wind, I think a six inch makes a lot of sense because <laughs> The Helion is amazing, but it's very, very large. And uh, yeah, I cannot lie, it's amazing and sounds great. But for some scenarios, a six inch will do a very, very similar job. And I'm very happy with how the Evoke handled this location. So the drone is a very typical iFlight drone. It's one of the most beautifully made drones, to be honest, the, the ones that are ready to fly at least. It's absolutely beautiful when you power it on with a battery and all of the sides illuminate uh, with this iFlight green color. You have a lot of little details that you've probably seen already because these Evoke drones have been out for quite a long time already. So you probably, probably already know the deal with these drones. It has a 55 amp ESC, which is super good to have. I think these are very reliable as well. Uh, it has 1500 KV motors that are really strong and powerful and give you uh, some really nice top speed of this drone that you can actually um, continuously push and not have just a peak top speed and, and then drop down to something lower. So it can go over 100 kilometers per hour and keep that speed, uh, especially when you're diving from a, a tall line. It, it picks up speed very quickly and it's really enjoyable to fly. So, like I said, this is a six inch. It has the dead cat orientation. You don't have any props in view. You can rely on the O3 air unit, which this drone has. Uh, or you can, of course, put an action camera on top of it if that's what you prefer. Just keep in mind that still every little gram that you add to this drone 
adds up to the performance and changes the performance of the drone. But for the most part, uh, I feel like a mix between the two is, is great. Sometimes I just test the waters with the O3 uh, and see how my signal is, how the footage looks like. And then if I really want to capture something a little bit better looking and, and have that on, on a specific action camera, then I attach it on top and I get the two sides of things. I get the O3 air unit, the built-in footage uh, inside the O3, and then I get the action camera footage, which is great. It's also nice for redundancy. You can flip between the two if that's what you prefer. And of course, uh, I will show you a little bit later some footage taken with the Evoque 6 and the DVR that comes from it. So you can see how vibrations, how things look inside the goggles and then see the final result, which is from the O3 air unit and the intro that you saw, we had some GoPro footage. So um, I think it's a nice mix to see all of the different aspects from the cameras of this drone. Now you might be able to notice that I am running a little bit different setup here. I have these longer antennas, which usually come on the Chimera 7 or also on uh, the big boy that we have here, the Helion 10. Uh, if you notice here on the Helion, I have upgraded these antennas to the True RC carbon matchstick um, antennas. And because of that, I was left with the stock antennas that come on the Helion. And since, sorry for always going down to get something, but yeah, these are the antennas that come on the Evoque 6, they are a little bit shorter. They are great for regular flying when you have, you know, you don't have needs to go super, super far. But since we all know when you turn back, the antennas are kind of covered by the battery. It's great to have longer batteries that stick out a little bit more if you're going mid to long range. And because of that, for my couple of flights with the Evoque 6, I switched the antennas to these longer albatross antennas, which are significantly longer. I would say they are maybe four to five centimeters longer than the stock ones. So it's better to have something like this for those situations when you're pushing the drone a little bit further away. Other than that, we have a GPS module here on the back. You have to set up or you have to enable GPS rescue if you want to rely on that, but it's good to have. I think Betaflight has become much, much better in terms of how it works with GPS rescue, how it kicks in when you are fail-safing. Fail so it's a lot safer for the drone now to, to use GPS rescue and it actually works pretty well. I might do a video specifically on GPS rescue because it's a big topic for everyone flying FPV and you know, you're always scared about losing your drone, but now things are a lot safer. Uh, and you can actually rely on this feature a lot more than you used to before. So these are the antennas. Now I want to talk quickly about the batteries that I'm using because it's a 6NS drone. You can usually fly as per usual with any 6S battery that is about 1300 to 1500, maybe even 2000 milliamp hour batteries. You can fly with those and that will give you a different types of flying time. Usually I get about four to five minutes with a battery like this, which is the, uh, this one is the 1300, but I usually fly it with a 1500 China Hobby Line um, battery. And the, the good thing about this setup is that you can also exchange um, batteries and put something like this, which is a Lion battery, the 4000 uh, milliamp hour Lion battery um, by iFlight. And you'll also have so many different options for batteries like these. These are specifically made for longer flying and usually they give you between 15 to 20, 25 minutes of flight time depending on how much uh, amps you're drawing. If you're flying more, more casually, more carefully without drawing too much power from them, you can extract a really long flight time, but usually I get about 15 minutes of flight time with a battery like this. Uh, and this is actually a great way to have a two-in-one setup because with a battery like this and with the longer antennas, since the battery sits like this, if you are using the regular antennas, they will be blocked by the battery because it's very tall. But since we have longer, battery, uh, longer antennas, we have a great way on how to use this battery and get longer flight times. And if I'm do doing something more like freestyle related, I can just exchange the antennas so I don't 
I don't really need those longer ones and I can fly with a 1300 or a 1500 milliamp hour battery and have a more freestyle oriented setup, which is a great thing to have on a drone like this because like I said, it's a two in one drone for me and it's a great, great FPV drone that can do a lot for you. Uh, so this is the main reason why I'm doing this video to kind of let you know about the difference of the setup that you can have with a six inch drone. And obviously um, if you're doing similar type of flying like me, you might want to take a look at six inch drones because they are great for what they are. They have a lot of, they give you a lot of freedom to explore and, and do different things, uh, especially with the different setups of the antennas and different batteries. You can do a lot with them uh, and they can still, because they're quite powerful, they can still carry a heavy battery like this without any issues. So this is, I wouldn't really say my review. It's mostly a video on my impressions of the drone and how I personally use it and maybe to give you some inspiration on how you can use a drone like this yourself if you have need for something like this. I personally have a lot of interest towards longer range flying recently and that's the reason why the drones that I mostly use are these ones, the Evoque 6 and the Helion 10. These are my main drones that I mostly use unless it's a Cinewop type of drone that requires something you know, to go through tight gaps and small spaces. But for the most part, when I'm on a large open field, these are the two drones that I prefer to have around me. And these are the ones that give me the most pleasure of flying. Uh, and I don't do too much freestyle, you know me, it's mostly cinematic type of flying and it's mostly proximity flying, but nothing too crazy when it, when it comes to acro. But I want to combine that with longer range flying and, and cover larger distances by still having a relatively high speed type of flying. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm going to leave you with some footage from the Evoque 6 with some DVR. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. This is Mike from Drone Supremacy. Take care and I'll see you soon. Ciao.
Mm-hmm.